Let's talk about gap fill trading strategies. In today's video, we're gonna be building our very own version of a gap fill strategy. This is something I'm seeing very often in the current market where we have a gap up or a gap down with stock indices and it usually fills that gap with a reversal. So I wanted to actually build a gap fill strategy so that you could use watching um, and find some edge in the current market environment. So let's just honestly get right into it and not waste any more time. Let's go. All right, so let's talk about gap fills here and the strategy. So I've noticed this a lot in most, in, in recent market events uh, where we get a gap up and then we see that gap fill where it reverses and it fills the gap. And then from there, it can either trend or, or bounce back. But I notice this a lot and that's why I wanna make this video is to show you guys how to build your own gap fill strategy uh, to work in the current market environments. I think this strategy you can see will probably have negative correlation or very low correlation with some of your other trend following strategies. So uh, it's a great time to talk about gap fills and how to build them. So uh, I on this on the screen here, I have a Ninja Trader, which is the platform and software I use to backtest my strategies and to run them live with real money. And this is the strategy analyzer window uh, which allows you to backtest strategies. So we'll go over the strategy code in a bit, but first I wanted to talk about the strategy itself, um, how it works and its performance. So uh, we have our gap here. We can see that this is an example trade in the backtest. This was on August 22nd uh, this year. So we saw um, NASDAQ futures gap up from 15,180 to 15,290, basically a hundred point gap uh, overnight onto the, the day trading session. And then at 9.30 a.m. Eastern time, uh, we can see that NQ is trading at this price. And we have this as represented in this big blue circle, uh, the gap, right? So get a big gap. And most people want to go, most trend following systems at this point would go long because uh, there's been an increase in price. You're probably above a bunch of simple moving averages, uh, as well as any systems that look at yesterday's price. A lot of them want to go long, but the smart people or Right now, what's currently working is doing the opposite, going short. So you can see here's an example short trade from this system, which I've called gap fill uh, and has a profit target and stop loss. So that's sort of how a gap fill works and does fill the gap the rest of the day, um, does bounce off after, but this is able to get in in the morning. Okay, so there's a nice example trade of how the system works. Uh, obviously, it doesn't work all the time. You know, I'll, I'll be transparent with you, of course, um, but here's the walk forward performance of the strategy. So. Since 2008, it's made $41,000 on one futures contract since then. So uh, this is a strategy I recently built and wanted to show you guys. Here's an another example of a gap fill. You get a gap down here and the strategy buys, goes long, and it has a profit target and stop loss. So uh, once again, this day uh, fills the gap and continues higher too. So it missed out on some profit. Now, of course, it's not always going to work. Uh, there's going to be days where it gaps down in trends. Um, you know, this day there was a gap. It never filled the gap, but you were able to still kind of, um, you know, get a profit on that trade. Here's another day where didn't gap up that much. Uh, it did work out, but for a long period of time, you were down. But yeah, if it does gap up and trend, uh, it's not going to work as well, right? So, um, you know, here's a trade that didn't work out. We had a gap up, um, it went short. And for that period of time, you were up money, uh, but stop loss eventually hit because uh, it did trend. Well, I guess it did trend the rest of the day, but your stop loss would have hit. And then I want to show you one more scenario where it may not work. Um, you can see recently, this is all October and, and September, so it's done really well. Here's another one. Uh, here's one yeah where it didn't work you get a gap up and it just you know continues going up this was actually yesterday uh, november 3rd where we gapped up a lot would have went short and stopped out however mathematically you know there is an edge in the strategy it seems to do well here's the back test since since then um makes money both on long and short trades so let's talk about the code how i built the strategy and how you can build your own gap fill strategy as well so here's the source code. Once again, I use NinjaTrader to run and back test my strategies. It's very easy to build strategies and to test them and to chart them. You don't have to worry about infrastructure or a lot of API code. It just allows you to focus on trading and building portfolios. So here's the 
uh, example code and how it works. So we have the major component is on bar update, which is a function where uh, basically your logic of the strategy is running every bar. So every time the bar closes, it executes. So we have a long and short entry. The long side is looking for uh, a gap down. So it's checking if the close price is less than equal to the close price one bar ago. And the time is 9.31 a.m. That's because we're checking 9.31 because we're running on one minute bars, right? So 9.31 would be the first bar of the day on the day trading session of 9.30 to four. So it's checking for the first bar of the day and comparing it to the last bar of the day, right? So if you trade on the day trading session, right? The, the US equities RTH is what it's called, which is 9.30 to 4 p.m. Eastern you are going to have gaps, right? Because, you know, futures technically don't close at 4 p.m., but in the day trading session, uh, you know, equities will close at 4 p.m. And then they open at 9.30, right? So 9.31 is the first bar of the day. And then the last bar would be 4 p.m. yesterday. So that's why we check that 9.31, okay? And then we check if the RSI crosses above 60. How did I come up with that? indicator strategy why well, I test it. If you want to learn more about building automated trading systems and coding create trading bots, um, there's a link in the description below. You can work with me. I can show you how to do that. But from testing, uh, the RSI uh, was the best signal for this. So the RSI crosses above 60, we enter long. And then on gap ups, we're going to enter short. So same thing, we're going to check if the close is greater than the close one bar ago. And the time is currently 9.31 a.m. And the high two bars ago, is less than equal to the open four bars ago. Once again, I found that through testing and uh, was able to um, you know, find something that, that met my needs in the back test. Then the other two logic is we have a profit target and stop loss. Ninja Trader makes it very easy to set profit targets and stop losses. So we set those based on currency. So if the strategy is up $1,000 uh, or down $1,000, it's going to exit, All right? Uh, I am trying to do better on changing my strategies to use ticks instead of currency, because sometimes you might want to trade, um, micros, for example. So if you had this profit target on a mini, uh, it would not have the same performance on a micro because yeah, the minis and micros, there's a, a 10 times difference in margin. So uh, being up a thousand dollars on ES versus being up a thousand dollars on MES is way different. And, uh. Then lastly, we also ran a walk forward analysis, which optimizes strategy every year uh, and it optimizes the profit target and stop loss. So it looks like for the current year, um, the profit target is set to $500 and the stop loss is set to $900 and this trades NQ one minute bars. So gap fill strategy, I think is a great addition to anyone's portfolio that's running trading systems. You're going to get low to negative correlation with your other trend following strategies. And if you guys want me to make a video on correlation, I can do that. I also teach how to run correlation analysis in a more uh, disciplined manner in my course, but it's something that I think anyone should have um, on intraday strategies, just because it's right now what I'm seeing with the current markets is we're gapping and then reversing, gapping and reversing, and a lot less trends are being formed in the morning. Later in the afternoon, it's different, but definitely in the morning, it's, it's much more opposite. So uh, just wanted to talk about it. And, and you know, show you guys how to build gap fill strategies. Once again, you're just basically checking if there's a gap by the, the current close price compared to the previous bars uh, price at a certain time. And then, um, you know, building a, another filtered signal on that. One thing I will say is that this strategy has uh, a technically about, I mean, only two parameters that you can optimize on, but it has technically, I guess, three signals with the close price check, the time, and then the RSI for the long and the high and open for the short. So I am trying to stay under that, you know, five signal, five, five and lower signal for any trading bots. You don't want to have too many parameters that you can optimize or else you really have higher chances of overfitting and overcomplicating your strategy as well. You want strategies to be simple. Um, those tend to do the best and, and you'll find that very quickly. So gap fill strategies, let me know in the comments below if you learned how to build a gap fill strategy. And if you want to make separate videos on new strategies as well, uh, have a great weekend, everybody. And we'll see you next week. Peace.